Hey everyone, I'm Barmy, game director for Township Tale, and today I'll be laying out clearly the differences between the Quest and PC versions of the game. Let's start with graphics. This is the most notable difference between the two versions. In order to get the game running on Quest, we didn't hold back on pulling the reins on graphics. Here we can see how distant buildings and structures look compared to each other. Once you're in the game world, the Township Tale is almost entirely seamless, and keeping landmarks at minimum performance cost was key for our world streaming technology. Another key difference is lighting. The Township Tale's lights are all calculated in real time for our dynamic day and night cycle. And typically the most expensive part of that is the sunlight rendering cast shadows. That's why shadows had to be disabled for the Quest version. A different rendering pipeline is also used on Quest compared to PC. This is going to get a bit technical. The Quest version uses something called forward rendering, and the PC version uses something called deferred rendering. Deferred rendering allows for many more dynamic lights rendered relatively cheaply. However, the resolving process for mobile GPUs to put that data together for an image is quite slow and would therefore affect performance. If you're curious about this, because it's a long topic, have a look at the article in the description below. For Township Tale on Quest and our many torch lights, we've done some wizardry to give the impression of lights on a shader-wide level. Transparency is also another factor. Forward rendering supports transparency much better, but it's still a really costly step. For that reason, a lot of visual effects and foliage have become opaque models as opposed to transparent textures. Characters look virtually the same, aside from being a lower level of detailed version of the original models compared to PC. All the cosmetics that you already own on your Alto account will be available to you on Quest. Finally, on performance. Whilst the PC version has seen some client performance improvements, it's not a perfect 90. Since the Quest version has a set hardware and a set player limit, we're better able to ensure that players get a near perfect frame rate throughout their play sessions. This is the most important thing we decided going into the Quest version that performance should be absolutely solid. That's it for this comparison video. I hope you enjoyed it. As we continue development of this game and more VR advancements are made, we'll be looking to improve the visual appeal of the game. Thank you for watching, and if you're excited to play Township Talon Quest, it's coming out July 15th, 2021. See you later, townsfolks.